exploring the power of the soil. Uh oh, we're in trouble now, man. The soil's got power. Oh no, Andy, what the heck? <laughs> you really need to to uh, maybe uh, eat more uh, bananas. <laughs> I heard bananas are good for for your, for brains. Uh, uh, I need all the help I can get. I think, yeah, yeah. So unearthing the soil secrets, Andy Lopez. Mr. Invisible Gardener himself. I appreciate all the books you've written, all the music you produce, and you found some of these soil secrets. So tell us more, Andy. Okie dokie. So I, hi, everybody. So I want to try to take you through a really quick journey. At the same time, you guys realize this is an ongoing thing because we can be talking about this on forever. You know, hi, Boulder. Oh, I got to check on my comments. Click on my comments thing over there. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but um, so I did a little slide thing together here that you can bring up now. Okay. Start with that. And I think that's good. Can everybody see that okay? I know yeah. I can, so they should be able to. So uh, I, I've, uh, those of you that have been with me on and off here, you know, I tend to talk a lot about uh, trace minerals. Uh, almost as much as I talk about the biology of the soil. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really glad to talk to you today about the real, and, and I, I, I actually, I told, I, I didn't say you guys, if, I mean, it depends if you've been listening to me for a while, but remember Ken, when I talked about cosmic energy, about cosmic rays, remember that little yeah. time, right? Right. And so remember, what did I say about that? What trace minerals do? Well, they catch uh, the cosmic rays, and that's how they get energized to there interact you go. With, with us. There you go. And that is the true reason uh, why the soil is so free, is so amazing, because uh, what does the soil deal with? Right? What does the biology deal with in the soil of the trace minerals? The distribution of the trace minerals into the bodies of the people or the things. Whether it's not directly, I mean, it's indirectly into our bodies because if it goes into a plant, you eat the plant or you eat the meat or you whatever it is, it goes into our body. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right? So, and, and this is a very, very clever way and a clever way of not only of healing, of keeping happy and healthy, but the true reason why you're happy and healthy is because you're connected to the cosmic energies that you're supposed to be eating in the first place. Yeah. This is just my opinion, by the way. Okay, so you can take it any way you want to, but <laughs> okay. I, I see I see it as a, a, a definite connection to the to uh, so the Earth. And what's interesting about this energy is interesting about this cosmic energy because I call it a cosmic energy, right? Because in reality, that's right. what it is. Uh, that we uh, we are. Uh, I tell people we are beings of light, and we eat energy. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, so, and then the, the the whole it's interesting too because matter and energy are, are one but throughout the universe the universe it's all about energy it's all about frequencies it's all about and so everything everywhere you look i mean just mm -hmm. look at the sun energy and all kinds of energy come out from out, out from it and expands throughout i mean uh, uh interesting uh, the um so when when a black hole, I'll talk about energy. So a black, I, mean, I can talk all day, and this is not even on the script. It's non-script. I'm just going to blab it out. But a black hole, every once in a while, sends out this beam, this sound, like a sonic boom that travels right. throughout the universe. It's a wave that travels out, 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 out throughout the universe, and 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 uh, that 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 is a that's an energy. That's an energy field we all get, and we have evolved. Every living thing mm -hmm. on this planet has evolved with this energy, these energy fields. Right, yeah. Right. See, I mean, throughout the generation, we have been exposed to these type of energy, our genes, our chromosomes. And let me see if I can make it, because, you know, I'm supposed to also make it move, and I, and I can use the power of my brain. I'm going to think, I'm going to think, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I did, did I do you it? Did oh, it? You did it. You did it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> And, and, and it's, it's really true because we uh, we think we're matter, beings of matter, and we're not. And so it, and, and in terms of gardening, why do we eat, right? Why is it that yeah. we eat? But once you realize that even beings of light eat light, 
and and what you're looking at in the it, what so what a lot of people are learning in the garden they're learning to realize that if energy flows in a certain way if energy trans, gets transferred in a certain way everything lives in harmonious balance there's no right. there's no stress remember what i said about the stress the less the less the pest so imagine an environment where there's no stress so you're not going to have pests the pests are going to be out of a job. They're going to take up a new business, right? They're probably maintenance people, right? <laughs> you know, maintenance pests. When something drops, because things are always going to uh, they get, uh, there's always chaos. Things are always going to end up dying. Life and death, it's not going to stop. Cycles, no. cycles are always going to keep, be happy. Destruction, like energy, nothing, energy is never created nor destroyed, that kind of thing, right? It's always a change. It could be one form or another. Morphogenic field. That sound, name sounds really familiar. Oh my God, you may be right. Because I couldn't come up with a name. These names are like, whoa, you're kind of kidding me. Because I, I, I live in a field, I live in it surrounded by energy. And I'm exposed to it. I understand it. Uh, and I'm not quite the scientist that can say, okay, that's a morphogenic energetic field. <laughs> okay. I, all I know is that it sends out this, this field. This is like surfing, which is like a, a wave that expands faster than the speed of light. Much. Nothing goes faster than the speed of light. Well, guess what? And it spreads out from wherever that black hole was. And the last time, uh, court scientists said 18-something, 1840 was the last time we have experienced this field. In other words, a black hole somewhere sends something out. It may take in billions of years by the time it gets to us. It was it's not it isn't destruction. It isn't anything you it isn't anything you but it does the the energy that it that charges the uh, the us, the beings uh, that we are, right. we are we, you know, we we're we're just like the let me explain something really is interesting too. Okay, so mushrooms, right? Psilocybin mushrooms have exposed me to a way to understand what it is that we are made of simply because you know our brain so if you was to study our brain look at it look at it in a picture and uh, understand like a video of a of our brain our brain synapses the the, the way brain the energy travels in the brain is identical to a, the way a solar system looks Right, it's identical to the way a solar system looks, and you would you would say, "Gee, what what am I looking at? Am I looking at the brain synapses, or am I looking at, at a solar system?" You see what I'm saying? And so it's and it's really very interesting. I call them cosmic rays, uh, but mm -hmm. it, it, because the, the universe is full of these different types of rays, and they have this thing of shooting straight through this Earth. I, I, it's called a nanosecond. In one nanosecond, which is a billions or a trillion billions of a second, in and out the other end of the Earth. Mm -hmm. But what it leaves behind, it's mind blowing. It's not. They're all not the same. Remember, we talked about more roots the better. Yeah, yeah. This is like more roots the better, but in the cosmic ray sense, right? More cosmic okay. rays the better, because we get exposed. And what's interesting about this too is that remember we talked about. Uh, how we were basically traveling in space. And so if we're talking about energy, we are traveling in a field of energy uh, in space. And right. water, and we, 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 I know you guys talk on other shows about water, structured water. How to, how to, mm -hmm. So water is a, a, again, right, it's a unique thing to this life, to this earth, right? You're saying there's water here, but you can't find it. There has to be water on the planet, so otherwise you can't have life, right? Right? Yeah. And so not our form of life anyway yeah our form of life but basically we're talking about our form of life in the sense that, that we uh, uh we have evolved to beings right but really it's due to this water what does this water do right the the the, the way mother nature makes it, it actually makes structured water and prints into the structured water the, the frequency that we need to survive with and these mm -hmm. are imprinted by these cosmic rays. We shoot through the earth, also shoot through the water, right? And right. Did, did you know that uh, every once in a while, a cosmic ray would shoot through the earth and split your gene, your gene in your body and the, and the chromosome thing there that's a chain, it will split it, do something to what one section of it, which down right. the road will, will change your children's children's children forever. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it's you immediately. Immediately, 
Isn't that cool? That's wild, man. That is totally and wild. wild. And so, and, but so these cosmic rays have been shooting through. And as we, so we're going into the Aquarian age. To me, it basically means if you have this big room, and and or, or if you, here's one way to put it. So you have this big room here, and you break it up into sections like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock around the circle. These have a little pie. These have a little pie that you go around the circle. That's a section. So these are different sections in space. And right. What's interesting about this space that we're in, it's an unlimited space, but it's not the same energy levels that you as you travel through each space. The the mm -hmm. frequency and energy are very different through each. That's why they call this the Aquarian age as opposed to be the Piscean age, right? There is a difference, and the difference is we're traveling in a different area of space. Everything right. and energy is different, and so but the cosmic rays. So you, when you go into an area, you get certain cosmic rays from that area, right? You don't get cosmic yeah. rays from another area. You have to be in the area to get sh shot up by the cosmic rays, right? Okay, yeah. Let's just say here, but uh, yeah, let me see that. Morphogenic field is a group of cells able to respond to discrete localized biochemical signals leading to the development of specific morphological structures or organs. And these, uh, these are, uh, uh, and this, this field is the same thing that the, uh, when the, uh, when the black holes sense out of energy field, or mm -hmm. when there are other things that causes different types of energy field, or even the, the cosmic rays themselves, they could be made up of various different types of fields. And these, and we, we interact with them. They interact with us and causes change. In our, in our in our field, right. And the the water is very interesting too because you can actually structure water just by thinking. Mm -hmm. Just by well, you do water. that. You do that with your crystal therapy. Right. Um, is you structure the water and then structure the energy from the crystal into the water. Right. So there's a there's a book called Images of Water. He says mm -hmm. that's actually two books, and Michelle took both of them away today with me. So I hope she's not going to lose them. But basically, have you seen this book? It's called Images of Water, and they have uh, what they do. They have a a um, a uh, what is it? What kind of uh, it's a um, it's a it's a uh, microscope. What's it called when you can look really really small? Like they looks up the snowflakes. Oh, um, oh, geez. I want to say yeah. compound microscope. No, but, it's um, more than that. It's, it's yeah. made for a very, a, a, a most, what's the most powerful microscope you get your hands on? All right, guys, help us out. We're both having a brain fart here. <laughs> most powerful <laughs> microscope we get our hands on. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah, but, it's it's here and it's just not coming out. Yeah, you know, know. Um, I've used it so many times before in my past, but I'm not going to. It's not spitting out right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. But it, 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 it electron, it's, electron, electron microscope. microscope, exactly right. And if you look at, at under it, and this book show, takes pictures of what it sees, and and it. It, it actually, uh, so there's structured water and unstructured water. So in unstructured water, the, what you see in there, basically, it looks like a snowflake, but it's really weird and erratic shape and broken mm -hmm. up. But when you look under structured water, it, the, you can actually see a structure, like a, a beautiful mm -hmm. snowflake, or usually some form of flake, like you know, different types of circular flakes. Or, but the but the water can be manipulated mm -hmm. by energy. And we are very yeah. good at we're good at any trans transmitters. We have all kinds of other things that we use to transmit energy with, right? Yeah. So, so you want so the uh, so the water is really so. There's what's interesting too is that people can put things in the water that really shouldn't be in the water in terms of he did a test and you put hate hate into the water, so the water was like generating hate and it had bad, bad looking crystals. But, but I but the way in nature is that because nature is not gonna say, okay, we need to put hate in the water, right? <laughs> right? Nature right. is did I did I what happened? I moved. Oh, that's good. I like there that. There we go. Yeah, now we're now we're cooking. Uh so one of the things that, that I wanted to get across with people to everybody is that the um see 
about the cosmic rays, and then when it passes through the trace minerals, the, the trace minerals absorb those cosmic rays. Those particular that's why yeah. they have so we have so many different types of minerals, right? How many uh, elements? Because elements and minerals are the same, in my opinion. So how many elements we got? I don't know. Do you know how many elements we got? Um, more than no, actually, not off the top of my head, ninety-seven or something like that, right? And they also, have, they are, I think they should correspond to trace minerals. I mean, that's my feeling. Elements should, should be a, a trace mineral. Maybe some things yeah. are not physical, and, and maybe they're considered an element, right? You never know with these sciences. But the the that's exactly what happens, in my opinion, when the energy travels through the earth, it gets imprinted with that specific frequency in that metal. Right. Right, in that middle. So iron would be one frequency, magnesium exactly. would be another frequency. Exactly right. And also, too, as proof for me, as proof is that insects are born with the ability to see these different frequencies, especially the ones that they right they, they need for their survival. Mm -hmm. So if a plant is if a plant is producing a specific frequency, the bug is going to go no. But if, if it's producing a, a frequency to say here I am, I'm dying, I'm I'm producing a weak frequency, and the bug goes yeah, yeah yes, yeah yes, so yes, and yes, and yes, right? Yeah, so, it's uh, going hey, I like that flower. Yeah. Can I land on that and eat it? How, oh, our uh, uh, our evolution. Our DNA has evolved in this in this energy field, right? See, and we're and so as we evolve down the road, we learn because that's what the Aquarian age is really about. If you look at it like an analogy, it's Piscean fishes in the water, Aquarians fishes in the air. <laughs> so you have to learn how to live in a slightly different environment using and it's how you use energy. And so right. I think it's interesting that people are learning about energy that they are uh, 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 saying okay uh i want to do an energetic garden i want to have a garden of energy right to make mm -hmm. energy make the plants grow real healthy uh but they also have to understand that you know the people themselves have to be energy energy act as, and as if they are energy beings rather than low energy being be high energy beings right you know right. like in a temple supposedly you have a monastery these people meditating that should be really good energy right and therefore the garden would have a really good high energy and they would do really well i've never heard of any monastery having an ant problem or flea problems or any of these problems uh Actually, really, do you have you ever heard? Have you seen any, any of the comfortable movies where the, no. the monastery are going, Something's eating my vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I because I, I kind of I, I believe that if, if you radiate that energy, I was talking to this lady today, she says, Well, how are you going to keep all this stuff on your property? What are you going to do? The first thing I got to do on my property is to 13 essential minerals. I, I missed that part, lady. Silly, what did you say? 13 essential minerals. I think 90 essential minerals for me, I don't go over the 13th. And there's 96 minerals all together. Well, the thing is, is she's pulling up information on, on the internet and they're not always, uh, how should we say, accurate? Oh, uh, as of July 23rd, the, the, somebody recognizes any official minerals species mineral species cool okay. i don't know what that means mineral species because to me that'll be a living Probably organism. combination of different minerals combined with their classing as its own species i'm not sure because species would be like a living a living creature right a species of minerals that would be cool but maybe a variety of minerals or a type of mineral because yeah there's a they they will blend together like color the same, mm -hmm. that same thing with the frequency. You can blend. That, that what happens when you have two different minerals that blend together. You have a frequency like like music. Exactly. Like a good tuning a guitar is how we tune our gardens with the proper minerals and energy. So a, a person, if a person wants to have an energy garden, he had better he or she had better start acting uh, uh, like an energy being. Learn how energy flows through the property. I mean, mm -hmm. I, uh, things we're using now, iPhones, computer, this thing where it's going on now, my computer has 
Uh, I have all kinds of energy devices that I attach to the computer, I attach to this, I attach to that, and they uh, help me deal with all this frequency here, you know. But in reality, yeah. I would be do much better without any of those. I would love to live in the woods somewhere without all the interference of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the EMFs floor. and radio frequencies, etc. Yeah, and I love the satellites that are circling around the Earth with the thousands and thousands of satellites transmitting. Everywhere, the poor guy in Africa couldn't hide in the cave from these frequencies. Now, no. So, so what you have to do is you have to learn how to deal with the frequencies yourself. You have to be the generator. You have to basically learn how to create a frequency, an energy field around your body, right? That yeah. will will uh, wipe not only necessary wipe makes it go around you. Yeah, and one of the things that, uh, as I put it over here, new forms of energy surrounding the Earth and within the Earth. If you look at the Earth, you're going to see we're surrounded by energy, and everything's energy. It depends on how you look at it. On that other yeah. scope, they, they have infrared cameras, all, all different kinds, and see the different frequencies, and they go, "Whoa!" Just because you can't see it does not mean it's not there. That's right. And we and we're 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 swimming directly through all this stuff. Do, do you know about black matter, right? Well, we Dark matter, through, yeah. We're going through black matter all the time. We're going through tiny little wormholes. And these are wormholes that are so friggin' tiny, but they're surround they're everywhere and because there's no place in the universe is not that isn't occupied by something. So there's you can say there's nothing there. No, no. If you look, you're gonna see that they're tiny, mini, teeny weeny little wormholes. By yeah. teeny, I mean uh, uh, smaller than the atom, but it's a, these are worm actual wormholes. And they close right. of course they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But, but, uh, but the, so the 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 soil is. Uh, I think I wrote I've gone somewhere that there are billions and billions of uh, uh, there are more microorganisms in the soil than there are stars in the sky. Yeah, because there's like billions and billions and billions of microorganisms inside this uh, the soil, and there it's all being bomb bombarded by the energies that come from the universe. Yeah, all of it. There's no way. There's no way that energy cannot the the soil cannot pick up something because when it shoots through the earth. There's well, no you way think of the, the human, there. the human resonance um, is supposed to go. I think it's eight or nine miles uh, deep, um, and that's an energy wave and frequency on our right. planet. So that's right. how far it's penetrating. Right, so when I do my uh, music, I do have a couple of songs that I use that in the background, and basically, there's it's I call it the sound earth makes. Yeah, right. Because so I have a friend is uh he does the sound different planets makes. He'll tell you what Venus sounds like, what frequencies that Mar Mars has, those things. Right, it was really cool. <clears throat> but the, once you learn the the how to use the, these wa waves, because you can create energy yourself and once you learn about how how the uh how the energy is used you can actually enhance it because we're very good at making tools mm -hmm. that's what's so cool about us we can make tools so i have tools that that i basically created myself when i do the gem elixirs that's one way of creating energy around you controlling the energy i also make er energy recyclers because i learned that since we're all Spin, right now, we're spitting out negative energy all the time. Negative energy, negative energy, negative energy, negative energy. Right, and it's not you have to it's, you have to look for people who are spitting out positive energy, but it's not an easy thing, right? You you're going to find it's easier to be destructive, it's easier to destroy. Chaos is the law, is the order of things, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing when you're dealing with energy, it's you're going to find that. I want to be. I want to be honest with you. The good, the bad guys will find you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The bad guys will find you. In other words, they will seek out your energy and and, and try to turn it into dark energy. That's the way it works. Chaos is the, is the order of things. You have so you have to learn. So if you if you really want to deal with and, and that's like I said, every bird, every fish, everything says all must eat energy. I don't mm -hmm. see it as eating. Uh, food or material, you know, or something physical, it's the energy that we're getting. Yeah. And that's why there's people that are breatharians or the ones oh, that, uh, there you know, you go. Gay, 
you know, morning and in, in uh, or sunrise and sunset, they're staring at the sun and gathering energy through their their eyes. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to gather energy. I was just gonna say that. So one of the things that that I I, I, I learned from my experience, and it, it's really hard just to live on energy if you're living in a toxic environment. That makes mm -hmm. it a little bit difficult. I can say I'm a breath air, but I can't eat this stuff. <laughs> this is like this is the, yeah. and the energy. If you uh, if you put yourself out to absorb energy and you're surrounded with all this negative energy, it's like you kind of have to go up 30 miles into space. Okay, well, good now. Absorb the energy and then go back down again. It's because it's but but it, it is a difficult thing to 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 do. But so but that it has to happen if. And I'm glad that more and more people are understanding that, uh, you know, like the process of of uh, having a healthy garden, a healthy environment. Yeah. See, there you go. See, with my hands lies, a billion organisms requiring energy. Mm -hmm. And to me, energy could be the tiniest thing. Do you know what uh, tachyon waves are? I've heard of them, yeah. Okay, tachyon waves will travel a universe in less time than it takes me to go to the bathroom. To walk That's bathroom, pretty quick. To go to the bathroom. And it's more of an instance, instantaneous, instance, I was going to say, uh, happening. Because you it doesn't travel. It's just there and it's there. Mm -hmm. No matter the distance. Right? See? Yeah, well, time, it's, it, distance is relative to the way you actually believe in distance. Or how you believe in time right right so so you're so there's no such thing as distance so uh, you're mm -hmm. here and next thing you know you're another part of the universe there over there uh, uh, so uh let's see now i don't want to get off the topic but you guys like my my little videos uh, my little things i drew i got together for you guys i did it real fast see <laughs> isn't that cool Being yeah, an yeah. Man, and it really is once you realize that every crystal, every gem, everything on the earth, and the soil is no different. The soil, if you look at it, I was watching one of the shows that you guys were doing, talking about the little organisms in there. And it, if you look through mm -hmm. a microscope, you're going to be seeing all kinds of stuff. You know it's good or bad. But yeah. if, if you were to look through a microscope, see, it depends what you find, what you look for. So one of the things I would look through a microscope would be energy sources. You want to look, look for gems. Yeah. You want to look for a little because a lot of times you're gonna you're gonna find in in the microscope there'll be rubies, emeralds, diamonds, but really tiny little specks of specks, mm -hmm. right? And you'll you'll find that's what happens. The soil uh, takes uh, absorbs all the you know it's it's easier to find gems when there are certain sizes and stuff. But the the truth is, when you look in the soil and if you were to dig in there through a microscope, you will find gems, but nothing right. that you even think of. Uh, you'll find that you'll find that yeah. emeralds and rubies <laughs> okay maybe you better answer that andy no i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna sit on it i can't answer it right now <laughs> you're gonna say well you just put, you know <laughs> now my butt is singing i hate to well, do it probably, if you have it on vibrate i don't know how long you want to have that on there <laughs> I, I vibrate yeah no, okay, so it's not, yeah, he's my, I have a whole bunch of brothers, and I, I'm not sure what he's calling out to do with Christmas, probably because the Christmas is coming up. He's in Florida. Yeah, and what's, yeah. inter what's interesting, too, is that they pick up on my energy because he's calling, when I do the show, I always transmit energy. See, I don't just transmit energy to you guys through this. I transmit energy to anybody who's connected to me, and that mm -hmm. could be worldwide, could be galaxy-wide. Right, so I get friends. They call up and right when I'm doing the show, hey, great, because they don't need the the transmission device. No, they and, can feel anyway, it. Anyway, so I, I'm uh, open to talking to you guys about a lot of different things. Like here, here, and I love talking about this particular subject because that's something that once you get that, now you have our planet, but also the universe that's around us. Yeah, exactly right. And the universe. See, we, you know, I tell people there's a, two types of consciousness, a greater consciousness and a lesser consciousness. And I didn't make this up. I read it in a book. I thought it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
See, we are, we're a little lesser consciousness. Our bodies, you and I, you have consciousness, I have consciousness. That's the lesser consciousness. The greater consciousness is that of the universe, of the galaxy, of the whole system. But we are right. the same. We are one. Like to drop, take a drop out of the ocean, and you have the ocean, you have the drop. It's still the same thing, the same being, whatever energy, that little drop, right, <laughs> as the ocean. So we're the you little hope drop. it's not toxic. So we're the little right. So we're the little drop now when we're in a body. Yeah, but we're still connected to the big ocean. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and we're so, connected to the universal energy. Most of us uh, don't understand that, but the the people that do, you know, understand that you know all that energy that's out there, whether it's you know the universal energy or the other people around us. We're all connected energetically. And the same with our plants. We're connected to those. We're connected to the animals as well on that energetic level. Right. And to me, the energetic level actually means a conscious level. Mm -hmm. Actually means a conscious level. You actually conscious acknowledge this energy. By an energy being, being you actually acknowledge these beings. A tree is a being. An ant is yep. a being. These are beings, and I acknowledge them as being. I give them their spit, their equal rights as a being, you know. And yeah. I'm not, I, I don't have any better rights than they do. But in terms of myself, of my, of my protection, of, of my life, how I live, what I do mm -hmm. in the world, I, I want to be able to be happy and healthy and holy, right? I want to have a good life. I want to be healthy. I cannot be healthy if my energy is nowhere near where it should be. And, mm -hmm. and so if I'm negative or I'm destructive or if I don't pay attention at all, bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Yeah. So that's why I tell a lot of people, heal the soul and heal yourself. And a lot of times, and what's really cool about this discussion is that even myself, I, I'm expanding my acknowledge, uh, acknowledgement of the soil and how important mm -hmm. it is to heal ourselves. Because we, the further away we get from the healing the soil, the further we get our, away from healing ourselves. Perfect example. Yeah. I've been moving for the last two years, four times. This is the fourth time. I'm now finally in a place with a little yard and so on. But the last three times, no place to grow. A tree, a big, a big, a big oak tree in a tiny pot. The roots are in the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and it doesn't work because I, I don't feel the same thing as going out and picking food or even growing it. Yeah. A lot of times for me, it's not necessary to grow it and eat it. I can grow it and give it away to people. I still get the energy from it. Mm -hmm. And I live, uh, I, uh, a lot of people want me to eat meat. And no offense, I, I tell people, there's no offense about me. You know, I, I, uh, I, my genes are farmer. My, my genes are hunters. I'm supposed to be going out and hunting. And my whole family does that. You know, they, they, eat, they eat what, they, I was going to say whatever, but you got goat, you got pig, you got lamb, you got all those things that you can eat, right? You know? Yeah, I, I never, I never got into it because of the energy that involved with, for me to do that. Because if, if you eat meat, you have a harder time having a higher energy level than if you didn't. I personally even have a hard time eating certain kinds of food because it, it produces more energy to get. It puts you right back in your body. Oh my God! Holy cow! Right? And it's, and then you can't you can't function as an energy being if your your body says I got to fart every five minutes because it's toxins. And living by the road, there's lots of lots of toxins from the cars and stuff. So I'm, I, I have to implement a way to make the the air clean. And there are ways mm -hmm. to do that. And I'm going to do it here. And I'm going to do it in my garden. In, in my garden, by the way, I already talked to the local owls. There's three owls there. I talked to the hawk. There's uh, rabbits, birds. We had like 500 birds here the other day. They were having a party. And... I, I, I believe that the energy level has to be in the right way so that nobody's going to come in and kill anybody else. And yeah. I talked to the hawk. The hawk says, wait a minute, that's what I do. The same thing with the owl. What, you don't want me to eat your cat? You're kidding me, right? I go, okay, <laughs> I, I understand. But, you know, and so I'm trying to work out a deal with them. I said, if, what if I was to feed you? What if I give you all the food you want and you're full and you, a way of saying things, you don't eat my cat? I'm doing mm -hmm. the same thing with the ants. I have a talk with the ants, the queen ants. And I tell your majesty, 
I, I, I would like to live in peace with you. I don't want to be killing you all the time, but could you could we work something out? It always works out because you acknowledge them as a living being. And they mm -hmm. say, you humans are crazy. You humans are totally off the wall, right? I was talking to somebody today about fairies. And, and I'm not I'm not the kind of type of guy that's gonna tell you, yeah, you really what we're really doing is we have to feed the fairies. I could easily do that because it wouldn't be too far off. This is my my little logo thing I put there at the towards the end. You know, I I have to promote myself because that's well, that's yeah, you <laughs> your books and your audio and you know your YouTube channel <laughs> and yeah, you we try to promote all. all of it. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, and I, I did use. I, I also posted my latest uh, uh, video, uh, Cosmic Spaceship. Thing. I have a really new artwork for that. I might change it to Cosmic Dream Ship. Uh, because the, the music that I do, I have all mm -hmm. this collection of frequencies. And so when Is I saw your doing, YouTube channel, Andy, that you posted it to? Yeah. I posted the new one up there. On, on YouTube. Right. Okay, so there's the Invisible Gardener on YouTube, guys. The Cosmic Spaceship. That was about 20 minutes long. And you know what happened on that one? It was the weirdest thing because I, 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 I got collected all of my artwork, put all the music together. And, of course, you have to listen to it while you're editing. So I'm yeah. listening to it. And these are frequencies that will just blow your mind away. So I'm listening. <laughs> uh, whoops. I think I just kicked Andy from the studio. We'll see how long it takes him to realize it. I, I was uh, doing something else in the background, guys. But uh, I'm sure Andy will jump right back on uh, as soon as he realizes that he's uh, lost connection. But uh, it's been an amazing conversation, as uh, Lily was saying here. Uh, a friend of mine had mice move into her tax shed, and she told them that they had to move. They did. It's amazing. So yeah, con you know, communicating with the animals around you, you can work out a, a balance. Now, sorry, Andy, that was my fault. Uh, I kicked you from the studio, man. Sorry. You kicked me out. God, yeah, I was kicking out the like other screen, and, and you left too. What was all this peace and love stuff? <laughs> no, but but seriously, you're absolutely right. You can't have an energy, an energy. You can't live energetically. If you don't pay attention to the energy. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. You, you can't be running around with a gun shooting everything or a knife or even have all of his energy. And it, and, it, and it does affect everything around you. Those poor creatures out there have a right to live so like we do. And so but if, just, if you if you uh, guard them that way, you'll, you'll realize that bugs have rights too. And so they're not, they're not doing anything wrong. They're responding to when you mess up. So I have some friends uh, the other day said, we got white flies. But what can I spray for white flies? Is neem oil okay? And I'll say, well, the bugs are telling you what's wrong. If you have white the flies. unhealthy. <laughs> right, exactly right. So if you have white flies, the bugs are going yummy, yummy food. And if it's yummy, yummy food, there's something wrong with the plant, not the bugs. It's not the bugs' fault. Yeah. The bugs doing their exactly. job to show up and consume that plant because it's exactly. so not healthy. Him, right. So I told them you, you're having a trace mineral problem. You may be thinking you're doing the right thing because they look, and yeah, and they grow, uh, you know what, this, that, that magic plant also. That's why they were talking to me about it. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. But th there's something missing if the bugs are attacking. And they also have powdery mildew. Mm -hmm. And so I say, I tell them you, so do you, uh, and they throw away the soil after every grow. It's a container. They throw away the soil. Yeah. There's no biology in the soil at all. Nothing. It's not a simple. They don't even think about, gee, maybe we should have a live. I said, you know, the first thing you should do is grow some worms in your soil. Put some worms in the container and try to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. Right? Keeping them alive will start. And if they're doing the right thing, the, the worms will survive. Otherwise, they'll die. Yeah. Right? So the big deal, and if, it, if the worms are surviving in your container, ha that's half the battle right there because the plants will, and on, on top of that, what they do is they, pull, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but they pull the plants out, right? They cut them and all that kind of stuff. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it depends where you live at. If you're growing indoors or growing whatever, you can actually don't have to cut the plant. You can just harvest it and let it grow. It'll come back again. Many people mm -hmm. don't know that, but that's, that, that, that could happen. But it, 
it's a it, it's a it's a it's a uh, the biology is the key to everything. But again, it comes down to the biology is just the gardeners. Their job is to assimilate the minerals for us to use. And yeah. they and so the, and the reason and so you think minerals are because buildings, bone structures, and brain structures and all this stuff. Right. If you don't have the energy, it, it materializes first in the energetic field in order for it to be developed. It's energy comes first and then matter. And so if you bought your body, which is basically matter, you have one have to one has to eat the energy that will create the matter that you need, whether it be brains or muscles or right. And, mm -hmm. and that's the, the right type. Uh, you'll live a lot longer than if you try to to say, okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat that. And it's not going to bother me and then die because you get cancer of the brain or the liver or the kidney or any of these other things, right? It's not going to happen. Well, actually, I have to totally disagree with you on that point, Andy. Plants produce uh, chemicals that you know are not good for the human body, but really good for a cow or a deer because um, they're designed to eat that. Uh, we're designed to eat fruit and nuts, things that hang from the that we can reach out and grab. It's probably true. Um, there's only 30% of the population that can live on a, a diet of, you know, straight vegetables. Um, That's true. I don't do straight vegetables, right? Yeah. I, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean straight vegetables. It's really impossible to get everything from straight vegetables. Yeah, you uh, can't. It, no, you you know, leafy greens are no, killing no, you, you because you there's a poison on leafy greens. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, is. Science has proved it. A lot of stuff you just can't be eating the, all, all yep. the time because your, your liver or kidney will just drop off. Yeah, stuff. yeah. I, I guess Make I meant eating, good, now. eating a good balanced diet. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a, this is the right way to go. Even Pro then, you know, protein. We're made of mainly protein. You have to eat enough protein to give your body the building blocks. We give our plants building blocks to, so that they have healthy cells. We have to give ourselves building blocks so we have healthy cells. Right, it's just like you have to build the building blocks for the soil. Exactly. Yeah. So, for the biology, which is alive, which is full of your plants. So exactly. there, there's no such thing as a vegetarian. You're you're eating biology, which are living creatures. So there, is there any difference in killing the biology when you eat the plant, or you know the the animal that was fit to eat? So one your of choice. The things, so one of the things that you all can do is you if you learn mm -hmm. how to structure the water with like a balanced diet of energy, and you spray mm -hmm. your plants with that, your plants will be absorbing the minerals, which reduce the stress, which will reduce yeah. the pests. Hey, have you ever tried structuring water with marbles? Have with you ever marble. seen that? Yeah, you you put make a funnel, uh, and you put marbles in, and then you pour the water over the marbles. It, it simulates uh, like um, a stream effect, right, right. breaking up the, the molecules and structures the water. So Energize. what I do is, is not, they're not marbles. It's a Chinese game that made of these little round balls, but they make them out of different kinds of material. So okay. it would be amber, some would be calcium, some would be different, different crystals, right? And that's mm -hmm. even better. The marbles yeah. are basically glass. Yeah. Glass marble. But you see so so look, yeah, look it up. Uh, I forget the name. It's a round game that you put balls on. Yeah, ball. Wouldn't have a clue. And wouldn't have a clue. Are, the balls are really made of, you know, like uh, the actual actual different minerals. Okay. And I ha I actually have the I have the balls because I I like the minerals. I like that idea of yeah. using that. And yeah, that would work because if you use the minerals. The glass is not going to do anything. Glass ones are not really going to do anything. Maybe in your mind, if you think that, oh, the color glass. All it's doing, Andy, is it's breaking up the molecules. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's the collision that yeah. pops them apart. Um, and that's where, like, the same with a, a stream running down uh, the rocks. It's not, um, it's picking up the minerals from the rock, but what's breaking it apart is the rocks themselves. So you so, have, so if you do it that way, you basically have a black water that's open to whatever you want to write to it yeah yeah basically you know so if you did it if you did that with it with the gems like i have a lot of uh little gems that, that I, I would make and that's basically the basically the sim symptoms like the the gem elixirs i would have a, a vial that would have like a collection of a whole bunch of gems and this water in it 
And the way that works is that you put that in a jar of water and it transfers the energy from the gem inside of it to the water and you drink the water. Mm -hmm. See, right? And so it's the same thing. But it, it's so you can take diamonds, emeralds, rubies and make an elixir out of it and drink the water. Right. You see? And so it doesn't matter the size of the uh, the, the emerald ruby. I used to go online and buy them for you know tiny, like a tenth of a of a carrot, some tiny little thing. You can hardly see them, right? You know, point zero mm -hmm. zero carrot. Oh, and we still have comments. Is somebody still making comments or not? Oh, a lot of girls. Yeah, yeah. Mankata is. That is, is I don't know. A, a lot of the girls are into that game, so I don't know. Makola, I have to look that one up because that's a that's a name for a game that really and you get the balls. The balls are absolutely amazing. They have lapis lousy. They have uh, all kinds of gems, but in a raw state that they polish into the balls. And I don't know if you can get the game anymore, but I was the the balls are amazing because you should take one with you. You take the, and then your body. I, I learned from experience that your your skin yeah. absorbs your skin absorbs. Uh, the energy your skin absorbs the energy as soon as before okay. you see it you see a look at gem before you look at the gem your body has already absorbed it mm -hmm. so well because the energy field goes out a lot further than the physical form of the gem and you're getting close to it you're interacting with it exactly right so at one week if you if you had the ability to see you would see how the waves of the gem coming out or the joy if you do it in the garden there there are waves if you could, if everything was like water made waves the energy you would see all the waves coming off from the plants the waves coming off from uh the, the trees and even the birds and the creatures the waves and mm -hmm. so when you when you uh grab when you go to grab a gem or a crystal or whatever you the wave has already hit you you're already in, interacting yeah. with it even before but that's one of the things actually if you're really open to it pulls you to that connection yeah Right. Well, so and that's following your intuition on where to step and where to move to. So the in intuition is like a button that says, "Just go. That, just do with go with the flow there. Just go right." Yeah. And that's what you do. And so, but it, the, the in terms of gardening for the energy, you you learn that the whole goal. Well, the whole goal is to be to be happy and to be healthy and to be live in a harmonious environment. Ideally, you also get to be live a long, happy life. A healthy life and you because you really need to be in, the, in that environment that's the, the problem i see now going on with people there's no you can't stick your head out of the house and even mm -hmm. the house is not a really healthy environment we have all these energy fields and we're like this is a solar powered house very different energy field than the place i just came from or oh, anything that's been living in a long time because the energy field is like a, 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 a goes through the circuits where the electricity is flowing through this mm -hmm. this type of energy field is entirely different energy. Field. Well, it's a it's low a voltage field instead of a high voltage field. Yeah, and very very different. Well, the other ones is constantly interrupting my field all the time. My energy field, you have to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop. You know, right, <laughs> right, right. And, like and walking right. over carpet and you're getting electrical shocks. Yeah, exactly right. So it, it's a pro it's a process, uh, but it's there's so much toxins. That's one of the things we have to learn how to. Eliminating our environments toxins because they they attracts us. Our body has this have bad habit of attracting toxins. The fat in our body attracts toxins. Hi, South yep. Bay Genetics, man. That's a really cool logo. Hat. Yeah, cool hat with a cool logo. Yeah. So we're talking about energy. Anybody have any questions? Because I ran out of I don't think I ran out of things I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Unearthing the soil secrets. I mean, like that's a that's got to be a pretty big, big thing, you know, when you start dealing with those secrets. But South Bay says thank you for uh, your comments. So, and then Lily's saying if you have uh, no plans on the twenty fifth, oh, Ken is going to have uh, an R and D Grow podcast, and you might even see me dressed up as uh, the red guy. You know, don't guy. tell the kids because it's an adult. It's an adult podcast, so we can't what, tell. What the kids time about is it, it. going to be on over here? Um, I'm not just too sure. I might sleep in Christmas morning until at least five or six in the morning. Come on. So you'll just send out an email or something or text when you when you're going to do it. Yeah, and I'll be sending you a link, Andy. 
Um, I'm sending all the hosts a, a link um, so that they can pop on and wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, but yeah, it'll be on the 25th during the day, probably in the early afternoon. Um, so probably noon, one o'clock, two o'clock your time. So by the way, I want to give you guys a heads up as to what what's kind of going to be coming up. Uh, so uh, I'm going to give this list to Kenna. She just heard it oh. just to, before I came yep. on. Uh, we talk about rock dust, explaining all the different sources of rock dust that I get from and how rock dust. It's, uh, it, we may even get a guest on. He wrote remineralization, so all about remineralization and how that would be fantastic, right? How uh, important. Uh, we're also going to be talking about making your own foliar sprays. That's what I do for a living make foliar sprays. For, uh, mm -hmm. I, I tell people I not only play spray plants, but I can spray your cars, it cleans them up pretty nice. <laughs> And, you do it uh, in a bikini when you wash the car, yeah. you know? Oh, no, no, Take extra no. Money. My ladies do the bikini thing. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I was stupid. So I'm also going to talk about using milk, how to spray and use milk on, on your plants. Uh, mm -hmm. that's, these are each shows. We were talking about rice, how to use, how to make rice, a liquid that you can use on your plants. Uh, I, I'm going to be covering energetic gardening a little bit more. That's going to be a whole mm -hmm. show by itself. Uh, we're also going to be doing cosmic gardening. So that's another story there I can I go over with you. Uh, you'll find that really very interesting. Uh, and I'll talk to you about the uh, an organic accumulator. I'll talk mm -hmm. to you about uh, how uh, what, a, what the uh, radionics is all about, radionics. I'm involved in yeah. a little bit of radionics. You know what radionics is? Have you heard of it? Uh, no, actually, I'm not familiar with uh, with it at all. You were saying, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 you want to. Um, well, I know what a ra radio waves and radio yeah. frequency and radio onyx has to be in that same and that's general what it's all about. idea. And so I'm also going to be covering uh, structured water, how to use it and uh, how to read and write to it. It'd be a, a simple class that you can learn to use it. Uh, structured cool. water is really wonderful to drink. You know how you can buy in the store, you buy alkalized water. Well, you should be drinking structured water all the time. Yeah. And, and, you know, and the process that we do now of processing water and shipping it out through the pipes and stuff, it's un totally unstructured water. And mm -hmm. you will still look under through an electron microscope. You go, I'm not going to drink that. You see, and the difference between that and the, what you find in Mother Nature is like incredibly different. That's why it, yeah. when it rains here, I was just saying today, rain is structured water coming down from the sky. Yeah, yeah. The only problem is sometimes the air is so toxic that it, you have to let the it rain first to clean the air, and then you get a little bit. Don't drink the same the first water when it first starts to rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, because you know, yeah, you know, might have a little bit of acid in it, right? Exactly. Yeah, a little, a little acid rain, you lose your tongue. Uh, used to garden by the pace of the moon, right? And then that's another thing we can cover too, because I do. I, I also. Uh, I'm an old fan of the old farmer's almanac. Uh, mm -hmm. But you don't really need. You don't really need that, you. But you need. It, it's probably. This is like. Everybody. Everybody seems to be forgetting. I know. I know who this well, it's is. It's Christmas, Andy. They're not expecting you to be on a podcast, but Christmas. Well, it's not Christmas. Not even close. Well, it's the Christmas season. They're, not even close. they're phoning I'm to wish you a Merry I'm also Christmas. Going to be talking, I'm also going to be talking about how to use your reflectometer in the garden. And and, and I, I, I'm i really open to it. If you guys have a suggestion that you want me to talk about, whether it has to do with gardening, whether it has to do with whatever you want me to talk about, I tell people I don't do marital problems. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm open to really having you know having fun here. And I want to keep this show going and do more and more. I'm always, oh, you know, if you have a pest or garden disease in your home, you know what I'm going to tell you, right? I mean, you're going to say, oh, I have this serious problem with my citrus or my roses. I'm going to it's say, all about the biology. Right. What are you feeding? How's it getting fed? And the stuff that you're feeding is usually CRAP if you don't pay attention to the real, the real person that's doing the feeding, right? The real mm -hmm. beings, that's the biology. If you say I'm I'm buying this junk and put it, yeah, that's what happens. That's going to happen. Basically, it's what it means. You're buying even even organic fertilizers do not work if there's no biology in the soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because without the biology, you know, there's no cells. You know, you have to you have to have that biology to build healthy cells. And so it's a it's a it's a it's an issue that 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 that, I, that I've been trying to promote for a long long time in terms in terms of. Uh, 
keep saying heal heal the earth and you heal yourself heal the earth and you heal yourself heal the mm-hmm. heal, heal the it's heal a mantra the earth. <laughs> right and I, and to me the earth is it's just the same thing as the soil but there you know there's water there's air different aspects of the earth soil is yeah. just one aspect of it but we want to heal the earth the the air we want to heal the water it's all intermixed together and if you and if you have it, it, I keep telling people if the soil dies, the air goes, and so does the water. It all is not good. But if the water goes, so does the air, and the soil goes. It's right. If the air goes, all connected. Right, Right, exactly right. So that's why that's why I'm here uh, to really uh, help people. Remember, invisiblegardener.com. I have a a, a really cool book. You guys should get. I've I've been selling quite a bit of books and super seaweed. Uh, What the process of super seaweed? It's a liquid I make. I can ship it to you, but overnight you have to get it. I don't think it goes out of the United States because, <laughs> yeah. uh, right? You know, I mean, I, I I haven't really started selling, and I only do it just locally. Mainly, people get it from me locally. That's what I do for my spray service. But one of the things I am going to talk about is how I make my super seaweed, and I want to go through that one. I want well, that could be number ten. Okay, there cannabis you know, plants is number, number 10. ten. Yeah, this is going to be number ten. I, I'll give you guys the actual. Well, you're gonna get 50% of what I put in there. I can't tell you the other 50% because I want to be able to keep the secret here so that I can, you know, cool, do my super. business out of it. But one of the things I would love for you guys to do would be to you know start your own spraying organic spraying business wherever you live at. It's really easy to do, especially if you have any idea of what you're doing in terms of growing. You know, because you have to be a you have like a good cook. I uh, I, I am a lousy cook because I, I don't know how to cook, but I'm learning. You know, but I'm a really good gardener. So if you're a lousy gardener, there's no way you're going to be able to, uh, you know, you got to learn the hard way. I learned the hard way by killing things a lot, spraying something. Oh, I guess I shouldn't do that. Right? Yes. Trial and error. Oh, geez, that didn't work very so, well. You know, all the different things that I've, that I've been spraying, because all throughout my life I've been spraying this and spraying that, seaweed, seaweed fish emulsion, Mm-hmm. You name it, buy the liquid, spray it. After a while, I came to the conclusion the best thing to spray is the biology. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. So now what my li- the main thing I'm spraying is liquid, you know, living organisms. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And I, some I, trace I, minerals, like let's give them the building blocks as well. Right, right. But yeah, without that biology that you can spray all the trace minerals you want, it ain't gonna help none. Exactly right, exactly right. So that's what super seaweed is a microbiological activator. So yeah. basically it has all the nutrients in 96 different trace minerals in there. It has all the different kinds of micro endonectal microbiota, all those kinds of things, all living together. Plus, I get the worm juice from either the one worm farm or the other worm farm, get that juice. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I I was getting Layton's juice, which was really good, cool. The liquid he makes also too. I just have to learn how to pay for it. I have to make more money so I can. You always want to grow what you can do, do yourself. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So I mainly yeah. spray the, the the biology, and that works for everything. I mean, this is a secret yeah. to my thing. People say I have this plant has this disease or that plant has a disease, but the same biology can be sprayed to both of them. There goes the disease. Yeah. At yeah. the same time, you got to get okay. So I'm spraying, but you got to do something to the soil. So I, I just mm-hmm. wrote something to this other lady. I said, okay. Uh, the sooner you start produ- putting soil back on the property, the sooner the healing process begins. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean that it's healed because I did the soil now. You should start to build a structure. One of the things I do is I spray the biology back into the soil again faster and faster than it, it would. Normally, if you left it alone and stop producing and killing, the biology will come back. The nature will yeah. do that. So we want to speed it up a little bit. You want to get some really good soil. You want to learn how to use compost. You want to learn how to use mold. Built a structure of back again. You want to start introducing the biology. Compost tea is one of the best ways. If you don't know what you're doing, make compost. But then if you make bad compost, you're going to have bad compost tea. Yeah. Use tea your nose, guys. If, if it smells like it, it's it's bad, it's bad. That's what you guys were saying the other day, right? You were saying if it smells bad, uh, it's no good. Yeah. And so Mad Dog wants us to talk about E equals MC squared. And Lily goes, uh, Mad Dog, don't get them started. 
I'm happy, I'm actually happy to talk about that because C to me means consciousness. Da. Oh, See, we're right? very conscious, right? So <laughs> matter and 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 our consciousness is an entirely different creature than energy and matter. Entirely yeah. different creature in terms of we our consciousness can travel from one uh, space to another, one dimension, you know, faster than the speed of light. Our consciousness allows it's us to do so instant. many different things. Exactly right. And it's yeah. nothing to do with the laws of nature. As a matter of fact, we function within yep. the laws of nature. Remember the higher, the lower consciousness and the higher consciousness? Well, you tap into the higher consciousness. You can, you are God. You are the universe. You are, right? It's like, holy mm -hmm. Casablanca. You didn't have to do holy Casablanca because you don't do that. You only do that in the little lesser guy. The little guy goes, holy cow. If you're God, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. You enjoy the universe. <laughs> You yeah. got it? You got it, Matt Dog, right? All right, guys. We're at the hour. <laughs> and, and before we get going too, go, too far off track, we'll have to e, put a, E equals MC squared on the, the a playlist there, Andy, so that we can get to it. But other than that, do you have anything left to say, Andy, before we cut the cut the stream? Uh, I think we'll be here after Christmas, right? So Merry Christmas. This is Merry Christmas on Monday. Uh, Monday is Merry Christmas, and we're oh, back oh, on oh. Wednesday. Oh, oh, so we'll be here right after Christmas, guys. Yep. So. Ho, ho, ho to all, Lily says. So Merry Christmas, everybody, or whatever you like to, to celebrate. Um, as we said, we're, the R&D Grow is going to be on Christmas Day. Uh, I'm going to have an update uh, or in the next couple of days, just finding the time to actually sit down with the camera guys in the, in the Grow uh, is a little bit more difficult than somebody might think, but uh, it'll happen uh, in the next couple of days. Um, peace, everybody. Love you all, and we'll see you guys very shortly. So, bye, bye, everybody.